Trisha and welcome back to my channel. You see me in a new spot. I move around a lot, I know, but I have a lot of places to be. A lot of bookshelves. But today I am standing by my never-ending TBR. Behind me. Right here. I mean, technically all of my bookshelves are my never-ending TBR, as you will see in my series, The Shelf Talk, because uh, I haven't read that many books in my own collection, but that's fine. These are the books that I get that are pressing to read. These are the ones that I review. Um, you will notice quite a few of them are still here from my end of 2022 VR. I didn't read much. So, I've gotten through a few of them in January. I was on like this reading kick. It was beautiful. February was a little sad, but that's okay. I'm gonna come back ready to go in March and this video essentially is going to hold me accountable because it's a TBR video. I know, I know you were all like, Alicia, remember the last time you did a TBR video? You were gone for over a year. Okay, that's not going to happen this time because I'm having fun filming again and I hired an editor who edits my videos for me so I don't have to do it because that was one of my least favorite parts. I don't like listening to my voice over and over and over and over and over again. So I pay Jenna to do it instead. Thanks, Jenna. Hope my voice doesn't annoy you. Anywho, I am doing this video. Technically, it was a like TBR tag thing that was going around at the beginning of the year in January, but my January and February were already taken. Um, so I decided to do it in March. It's like ringing in the new year, TBR or something like that. It's got prompts and I'm gonna follow those prompts and read those books. And that's what I'm going to do. So yeah. Alrighty, so the first prompt is Lose Weight, a book under 250 pages. So for that one, I'm going to try to get to Raising Honor by Jill Lynn. I'm sure I'll get to it because it's short. This one has 217 pages. And these, the format, really super short. I get done with these pretty fast. So this is the first book on my TBR for March. The second prompt is Exercise More, a book in a series. And for that, I'm going to go with Second Chance Christmas, by Belle Renshaw and this is book three in her Winter Montana series that she did and this book is super short too I think it's oh wow there's recipes in this uh, so much excitement this one is only 170 pages so I'm sure we'll get done with this one very quickly as well I love this series so much so I'm very excited to finish it off I think this is the last one, could be wrong. I can't keep track anymore, but I think it's the third and final one. Prompt three is drink more water. So it's a book with water on the cover or water in the title. And for that, I'm going to do Set the Stars Alight by Amanda Dykes. And it's set fun to see, so this or the water. I've been so looking forward to reading this book after Whose Waves These Are, such a I've heard amazing things about this. I love Amanda with my entire being. I love her so much. So I'm very much looking forward to reading Set the Stars Alight in March. The fourth prompt is Social Media Detox, a book set in the past. And for that, I'm going real far back. I'm gonna go Things We Didn't Say by Amy Lynn Green. And I'm doing this because it's written in letter form. So what better way to Social Media Detox than to go back to the original way we did it with letters. That's the book that I'm picking for this prompt. I love this cover so much. The fifth prompt is travel, a book set somewhere that you would like to go. And for that, I mean, I have many on my shelf, obviously. But for that, I'm gonna go with Jerusalem's Daughter by Genevieve Maverick. This book comes out in March, so I'm already planning on reading it uh, before release week to make sure that I have it done because it's Jenna's book and it comes out. Oh, it's crazy. This book is set around the time of Christ and who wouldn't want to be there when that was going down? Like that would be the coolest thing. Also, I would love to go to Israel, Jerusalem, Jordan. Like I would love 
to just be there. Maybe not right now, but I would have loved to have gone before the world went crazy. I digress. This is the book I'm going to read for that prompt. Alrighty, the sixth prompt is Eat Healthy, a book with food on the cover. <laughs> it's kind of ironic considering the book I'm about to hold up has food on the cover, but they're desserts. <laughs> This is The Key to Love by Betsy St. Amant. It's a bakery, so there's desserts on the cover, but I really, really, really like the cover of this book, and I'm very excited to read it, so yeah. Also, March is kind of like spring. Everything is going to come back to life, like pink, and we're going to be decorating the house all springy, so this cover is just perfect to get me in that mood as well. Alrighty, and the last prompt is Save Money, and this is a book you didn't pay for. Again, I do reviews, so I do get most of my books from the publishers or sometimes from the authors themselves. Uh, but a lot of the books sitting on this shelf right now, actually, I purchased um, just to support indie authors. I have a lot of indie books on the shelf at the moment. One that I did not pay for, I got from the publishing house, and I've been wanting to read forever, but time has just been taken away from me. Uh, but I'm going to rectify the issue and I'm going to read it in March and that is The Haunting at Bonaventure Circus by Jamie Dorite. I started, this is probably the first time you've heard me talk about it on this channel actually, I started a Christian fiction book box, uh, subscription box, and my September box in 2020 was actually The Haunting at Bonaventure Circus and I have yet, I've yet to read it, but that's okay. I trust Jamie. I love Jamie. Um, I kind of started reading it but got a little sidetracked with something else and really enjoyed what I had been reading but excuses excuses you hear them every day. I'm going to read this one in the month of March because it's beautiful and I'm really 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 excited about it so yeah. Alrighty so these are the seven books that are for sure on my TBR in March. They are not subject to change. These are the ones that I'm telling myself I'm going to read. Uh, if I add more to it awesome but I really would like to get through these and yeah. So these are the books on my March TBR. I would really like to thank Celestria and Oshina uh, for this video idea. I took it from them so thanks ladies. Uh, I really really liked it. I loved the prompt version of a TBR. I don't know why I've never thought about that because it's brilliant because it's a mood readers wanting to get into the TBR styles dream because if my mood is different I have prompts and I don't know I think it's just fun. So I'm very excited about it. I'm hoping to maybe get a couple more on my TBR but I'm not going to put them in this video because I will not hold myself accountable for that just these. I do have a quick questionis for you guys and you can let me know in the comments below. Uh, but do you guys enjoy watching reading vlogs during the week? Uh, seeing what people are doing? I know I enjoy watching them and I would love to start doing them but I don't know if that's something you guys enjoy watching so if it is let me know in the comments below. Really even if it's not your thing let me know in the comments below. I would love your guys's opinion I want to have more content on this channel this year. That's a goal of mine. So, yes. Alrighty, I think that is it. As always, you can find me on Instagram, my blog, Facebook, Twitter, literally everywhere. All my links are in the description box below and in my end slide that Jenna was a doll and made for me. So, I think that's it. And I will see you guys later. Bye.